Hello and welcome to summer, especially here in Arizona. We are feeling it. So although it's hot outside, summer always associated with, with backyard games. So in this video, we are going to unscramble words of backyard games or outside games that maybe you do with your family, maybe you've done as a kid. Um, so maybe we'll give you ideas of what you could do with your family um, this summer of some game ideas. So let's get started. So our first word that we have to unscramble has an L, L, B, A, Y, O, L, L, V, E, in it. Ten letter word, and remember, all these words are some type of game or activity that is done outside. I'm gonna, sometimes it's easy if we have little dashes to signify the number of letters. So there's 10 dashes for the letter. I'll give you a moment to see if you could unscramble this word. Um, if not, I'll give you a couple hints. Okay, so this game is done with a team. It's either a team of two or four or seven or eight. So it depends on what type um, or the number of people you have, but it's a team sport. It involves a net and it can be done on grass or sand. Do you know what? type of backyard game, this word is. If you still need help, it starts with a V. A V. And it involves a ball. So, cross the cross off the B, the A, and the two L's. So what do we have left? So the letters we have left are two L's, a Y, an O, and an E. Do you know what game we are trying to scramble? Yes, it's volleyball. Have you ever played volleyball before? Did you play on a court or on grass or in sand? So volleyball can also be done inside in a large auditorium. Um, and that's probably where a lot of people would play volleyball, especially um, in the hot summers of Arizona. But um, you often see volleyball being played on beaches. So sand volleyball on different beaches or at different parks. So volleyball. Okay, let's go to the next one. Our next word has an R, an S, a B, an E, an F, an I, and an E. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. Remember, it's a backyard game or an outside game that is done. Can you, un can you uncover and mix those letters up in the right order to solve this word? I'll give you a second. If not, I'll give you another clue or two.
Okay, if you need a little bit of help, this game can be played with a number of people, um, but you need at least two people to play this game. And in some places at parks, you might see a course where this is played. But you don't necessarily need a course um, to play this. If you need help, it starts with an F. So I'm going to cross that F out. So it starts with an F. It requires at least two people to play because it's a catch and throw type of game. So you're throwing something and you're catching something. If you guessed Frisbee, you are correct. Have you ever played Frisbee on a Frisbee course before? Um, I've seen courses, but I've never actually played on established courses. And usually they are, play, they are set up at different parks. Um, and so you just bring your Frisbees and your friends and you follow the course. It's kind of like golf. So you have different holes um, or cages where you have to aim your Frisbee um, to try to get your Frisbee in those cages um, to get points. Next activity um, probably is done more when you were a child or you'll see your kids or grandkids playing this a lot. Um, it is done outside but it's also done inside the home too but Let's see if you can unscramble this activity and uncover what it is. So the first word is one, two, three, four letters long. And there's a D, I, H, E. The second letter has three letters and there's a D, A, N. And the last word has one, two, three, four letters. And those letters in the last word are E-S-K-E. -E. Do you know what activity this is? If you still need help, let me see if I can give you hints without giving it away. This activity is a game where you try to place yourself where you can't be seen so that other people that are playing um, attempt to find you, okay? That's all I'm giving you because any other clues We'll give, we'll give it away. So let me show you again. It's a three separate word phrase. Act Are you catching what the phrase is or what the activity is? I'll give you the first letter of each of the words. So the first word starts with the H. The second word starts with A, and the last word starts with S. So I'm going to cross those out because we know where they are placed. Yes, if you just uncovered or scrambled it to be hide and seek, correct. As a little child, did you play hide and seek? Maybe with friends or with siblings? I remember my favorite hiding place was under the staircase of my home. If you ever played hide and seek as a child, where, did, where do you remember hiding where no one could find you? When you used to play hide and seek, did you like to hide 
or did you like to seek people out more? Which position did you like more? Okay, here's our next one. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten letters long. And somewhere in this word, there's an H, an R, an S, an E, two O's, another E, another H, and two S's. Can you uncover what outside or backyard game this is? Okay, if you need a little help with this one, this one is a team competition um, type game. It's a throwing at a target to get points type of game. One more clue, it has a animal's name in it because the thing you throw um, is actually used on this specific animal. If you still don't have it, it starts with an H. Did you guess that it was horseshoe? Horseshoes. How many of you have ever played horseshoes before? Yeah. Have you played with real authentic horseshoes, like the metal horseshoes that you actually use on horses? The next activity that can be done outside um, has an E, a D, an R, an R, an E, an R, a V, and an O. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letters. Do you have any ideas? So if you need some help, this game um, is kind of a competition game, but it's kind of a fun, um, a fun competition game, I guess you should, you should say. Um, it involves two teams that are placed on either side of each other and a lot of times they are, the teammates are linked together. I'll give you that hint at this point to see if you can guess what it is. I'll give you one more hint. It involves running. So running and linked teammates. Does that help you solve this puzzle? If not, it starts with an R. I'll give you the two R's. I'll actually, I'll give you all the R's in the puzzle, where they belong. So I gave you, it starts with an R, then there's two letters, then another R, three letters, and then it ends with an R. Yes, it is Red Rover. Did you guess that it was Red Rover? How many of you have ever played Red Rover before? If you haven't, it's when two teams are, are, have li are linked arms together and one team from the opposite side has to run across to the other team and try to break that link. 
And if they break that link, then they are on that team. But if they don't break the link, usually one of those teammates have to go over to the other side. So Red Rover is the backyard game. Our next backyard game that we have to unscramble has an R, an A, an L, an M, a B, an S, and an E. Seven letter word. Can you solve it? This is an old time game, usually done on the ground. Um, you probably won't see kids today, today's kids play this game. But if you are in the older generation, I bet you um, that a majority of you have played this game when you were little. And it begins with a M. The point of this game is to knock other balls out of the circle. I'll slowly add one letter at a time if you still don't know the answer. So the next letter is an A. So M A. Then an R. I bet the next letter, if you still don't know what it is, we'll give it away. A B. Yes, if you guess marbles, you are correct. Was I right if you were in the older generation? Did, is this one of the um, popular games that you played as a kid? Okay, here's the next one. Um, we have a P, a J, an M, an R, a P, a U, an E, and an O. So eight letter word, and this is an activity done outside. This is an activity that can be done with one person, but it is necessary, if you're gonna do a group of people, then you need at least three people. Um, but it can go up to four people or five people if you're really good and, and want to do tricks. And it begins with the J and it ends with an E. So I'll give you the, how it starts and how it ends. Okay, another clue for this. Um, when you do this activity, it involves, how do I put it? Involves the person coming off the ground and going over something. Did I give it away? Yes, it is jump roping or jump rope. Did you ever jump rope as a kid? Have you ever, if you jumped up as a kid, did you ever, um, what's it called? Double, double dutch. That's where two ropes are moving at the same time and you have to jump over them. Okay, we have three more left. The next one has a D, a B, an M, an A, an N, a T, I, an I, an N, and an O. Nine letter word. 
And all I can say is, this is similar to volleyball. Um, so it's a team sport and you actually use a racket in this game. Do you know what it is? And it starts with a B. Yes, it's badminton. Badminton, I think I spelled that right. This section is one of my favorites. Um, that I learned not too long ago. There's an O, a B, an E, and two C's um, somewhere in this word. It's actually known in Italy. It's a European type game, um, but it's bringing a game that you usually do inside and bringing it outside. So think of a game that's done inside that is brought outside on the lawn. Um, and this version is comes from a, Europe. So it's a different type of name. And I'll give you a clue. It starts with a B. And it ends with a C. Or it ends with an E, I mean. So B, three letters, and then it ends with an E. Yes, it's bocce. Does any, anyone know what bocce is? It's often called bocce ball, but bocce is lawn bowling. So it's taking the concept of bowling that you do at a bowling alley and um, taking it outside on the lawn. So bocce. I think we have one more. So this next activity is a nine letter word. And this is often done um, using chalk and the need of a sidewalk. Did I give it away? It's typically a one person type activity And most of the time, young children play this game. You don't often see older adults playing this game, but it's a it's a oldie but goodie. And it starts with the H. Yes, hop. I'm sure each of you created your own hopscotch as a kid and jumped those squares. So that's our last scrambled word puzzle that we're doing in this video today. If you are stumped on activities or games that you can do with your family this summer, come back and watch this and you'll get ideas. 
and maybe it will bring back some memories of some of the games that you used to play as a kid on those summer days. But I hope you enjoy your summer um, and enjoy playing different games inside or outside um, with your family.